after Tanith passed, um, well, before Tanith passed, I believe you mentioned that uh, Storm had started to work with Tanith because of the issues that were happening in the aughts, right? It was the aughts, um, the 90s and the aughts where midlists were starting, midlist authors are starting to fall away, making it harder and harder to create a living, right? To support yourself as a writer, which is so strange to me as midlist writers were what supported the publishing houses. But, um, but it was becoming more and more difficult to get her work into print. And, and many of her works, because she was so prolific, had fallen out of print. I believe you mentioned that Storm, a friend of hers there in Great Britain, had a press, a Manium press, and she started publishing some of Tannis' work. Is that is that right? Yes. Uh, I mean, actually, Storm, who, who, Storm Constantine, another fantastic creative powerhouse, um, who was who was a good friend of mine and, and extremely sadly she also passed away um, three years ago but um, she and I were the same age and we our publishing careers have sort of gone in parallel to, to a certain extent and I mean Stor you know Storm as well published um, work that was quite unconventional refused to be commercial refused to be mainstream blah blah um, and she was getting more and more, for, but but I mean, brilliantly written. She was a fabulous writer. Tanik was a fabulous writer. But anyway, um, the storm had been become, become increasingly frustrated with publishers. Um, she was having her things turned down, not because there was anything wrong with her writing, but because it didn't fit a certain commercial picture. Um, but Storm responded by setting up her own small press, which was an Emanion press. And she event uh, she originally did so to publish her own out of sorry her own out of print books, and then she broadened it to publish other books that had gone out of print. Like some there were some of mine. Um, she was also publishing non-fiction about the occult and, you know, ma magic and that kind of thing. Um, and she was good friends with Tanith. And uh, I don't know who suggested it, but um, said to Tanith, well, you know, can I publish some of your work? Fully expecting that Tanith to say, oh, no, no, no. I'm not really fine. But Tanith was... She she was really enthusiastic. She um she really embraced small presses, and I, I mean to me now the small press is kind of uh, kind of the future for us mm -hmm. because all I mean there's more and more small small presses who are publishing all sorts of authors, bringing them to light. Um, they wouldn't stand a chance with mainstream publishers. Um, anyway, so yes, to, uh, to, she started bringing out some of China's backlist and some newer uh, a new some newer stuff she was doing which I think was like a thriller series which I haven't read yet <laughs> there's too much stuff to read um yeah so that was going on and uh, then um, we sadly lost Tanith in um 2015 and um Storm br brought out she reissued Tanith's uh, Blood Opera series, which was Dark Dance, Personal Darkness, um, Darkness Eye, I think was the third one. I've got one of them here, if you can see it. Yes. Yeah, if you hold it back a little bit, a little back towards yourself. <laughs> um, there we go. There it is. Yeah. Personal Darkness. Yeah. And the, co the cover was done by Tanith's husband, John Kane, who is an artist. Yes. I've talked um, with him. He's a wonderful man. Yeah. Yes. And you wrote you wrote the introduction to that one, I believe, right? Uh, yes, the, 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 because there were three books uh, in in that series, and I know that Tanith wanted to write a fourth, but she never got to, got around to doing it, which is really really sad. Um, but she got somebody different to write, and like an introduction for each volume, and she also decided to put illustrations inside them, um, and I did. I think. I know I did this one, Personal Darkness. I think I did the third one as well. I don't know whether I could find any of the illustrations for you. They're just like bizarre, surreal images that, oh. <laughs> um, but she, 
just I don't know whether you can see that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I that's one of yours, that. right? Yes, it, that was one of the ones I did. Yeah, just like a weird, and creepy, haunted room. Because to me, that that kind of captured the weird, weird, creepy, horrible atmosphere of the box. So you're an I artist. Say horrible. It was horrible in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> So you're an artist too. That's wonderful. Uh, oh, a bit. <laughs> yeah. So yes. was it so, harder uh, to write the introduction than it was the short story or the other way around? What was the most um, difficult? Oh, it was harder to write the introduction because um, I think I think Storm had done the, the introduction to the first one, Dark Dance. And it was a very, um, a very astute, erudite, analytical um insight into into Tanith's work in these particular books and I thought I can't compete with that <laughs> it's, it's like oh I just love I just love this book I don't know just to say about it. but uh, I managed to cobble something together <laughs> and then, I think it's wonderful yeah 